Welcome if you're new and if you're already a subscriber, thanks for coming back. So today I am going to tackle my freezer, okay? And I'm talking about the freezer that's in our kitchen. Um, we do have a deep freezer that's in part of the garage, but I actually keep that one pretty clean. Like I try to use what's in there and, and then I just, you know, keep track of the inventory in there and I try to cook what's in there and then I restock that during my um, <clears throat> monthly Costco hauls, which by the way, if you haven't seen my latest Costco haul, I will insert a card to that here. Click this little dot right here. But, um, yeah, so I, you know, I've been on this mission, you know, there's only what, two months, not even a two full months left of the year. And, you know, I just want to clear the clutter hashtag clear the clutter down below. If you agree with me, I just want to, there's certain things in the house that I just want to get done before the end of the year so that I can just <clears throat> get the stuff out that we don't use anymore and just make room for more blessings. That's how I want to look at it. And so far this year we've done um our guest room closet which i wanted to do because that was like turning into a storage dump okay so we did the i did the guest room closet i did the girls clothes you know i decluttered and organized their clothes for the fall and winter wardrobe if you did if you missed that video you can click this little eye right here um which is a card and you can click on that to watch that and so now tonight today i'm gonna do my freezer um plus i want to just have room for a holiday food and everything like that um that i'll be be buying soon so i just want to clean that for the freezer out and go from there. Some other things that I want to do this year is my master closet. Um, definitely. And the kids playroom, their toys definitely need to be, uh, you know, cleaned out. I talked about that. We talked about that a little bit on the debt, -free, debt free Friday live stream that I streamed uh, about, I think a week and a half ago. Now I will insert a card here, but I had so much fun live streaming with you guys. Um, but make sure you check that video. It was so fun. And, um, I'm, I'm going to be doing that, uh, more often soon because it was it was just so much fun. I didn't know if anybody would show up, but we had a blast. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna focus on the freezer now. I was watching Catherine from Dude on a Dime. I know post, most of you are probably already subscribed to her, and she was talking about these containers from the Dollar Tree that work great for freezers. No matter what size freezer you have, if you have the un, the pull out freezer like I do, or side by side, this size organizer works really well. So I'm gonna test that theory out. I'm gonna show you guys um, me trying to use these. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's my before guys, a hot mess. Um, just not, nothing's organized. Things are just thrown in here. I plan on using those containers on these top, this top shelf here. And then all of this just really needs, some of this needs to be put into the um, deep freezer outside. Some of it needs to be thrown away and then some of it just needs to be organized, so. that I found packets of breast milk all the way in the back of the freezer um, they're a little over two years old here you could see the dates on them I don't know should I throw them away guys I honestly don't know um, and I'll wait to read you guys comments before I throw them away so I'll keep them from for now because I you know you everybody knows how powerful breast milk is so leave a comment down below and let me know should I throw them away or should I keep them and can I use them all right, top shelf is all cleaned out here. Looks like it needs a nice, good cleaning. Let's see, oh, this is removable, perfect. So I will clean this and show you guys the after. All right, guys, all clean. I took my handy dandy vacuum. Oops, it makes noise when I have it open too long. But I took my handy dandy vacuum and vacuumed up as many crumbs as i could beforehand love this vacuum a link to this vacuum you can find down below i got it off of amazon and so and then i sprayed it and wiped it down so let's see if the containers fit sorry it's so dark all right guys look at this i have a perfect fit Catherine never fails me she never ceases to amaze me these fit perfectly i mean there's a little bit of room 
Sorry, my light is... Okay, so there's a little bit of room here, but that's okay. I'm just going to go with it. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna start filling them up and then I'll show you what it looks like. Well, actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clear this part out, <laughs> which is really the problem, um, and then we'll go from there. And look at the filth in here. Isn't this disgusting? I've got to make myself do this, I would say once every six months at least, but all right, so I'm gonna vacuum this out and then clean it. I even found a Barbie shoe in the freezer. it's gonna get so now I'm going to oh and if you're wondering this is the cleaner that I used so now I'm going to organize the stuff that I want to put back in here and try to figure out what I want to put up here and then go from there Ta-da! we're all finished that actually did not even take me that long so let me quickly go through what I have here in this container we have the small bags of vegetables um, like roasted peppers, just frozen veggies. Back here I have pot stickers, hash browns, and some steak cut fries. In here, um, I buy these from Costco. For my husband, he likes these for lunch, so he can just quickly grab them. And I'm leaving the breast milk here until you guys advise me otherwise. Um, some frozen fruit, and so a mixed frozen bag of fruit. I get that from Costco as well. And then some frozen bananas and frozen strawberries. Down here I have my bigger bags of vegetables. Of course I get those from Costco at every Costco haul. On the door here I have some sweet potato french fries and some more french fries. My girls love fries. In the center here we have our freezer packs. Over here I have my meat. So I have my chicken nuggets, my grilled chicken breasts that I use for lunch. These are so good by the way, if you guys have ever tried them. Really seasoned well, really, really good. And what I do is I will make myself a salad and then um, make the chicken. It's already cooked, so all you have to do is really warm it up in a pan, and that's what I usually have for lunch. And then some some more meat here and some uh, chicken sausages that I get from Costco as well. And so it's all done, guys. That seriously did not take me too long. I did have to throw away some stuff, which I hate doing. I really, really hate wasting food. I despise it, but it was old, and it was time to get rid of it, so I just threw it away. But I want to make a concerted effort to be better at that and really use the food that's in my freezer and not just throw it in there for the sake of throwing it in there and then you forget you have it and then it gets you know freezer burned and so on and so forth so um let's all try this together to make like a conscious effort to use the food in our pantry and in our freezer and i'll talk about that more in the up and coming new year but i have a lot of goals set for us like, like, you know, I know we're friends. We, we are friends, you know. So yes, we're gonna set our goals together. Okay, we're gonna have community goal setting. Okay, and we're gonna conquer 2017. So, but that's it guys. Leave a comment down below. Don't forget, let me know, can I still use that breast milk? Because I've heard you could use the breast milk for like ear infections and pink eye and stuff like that. I, is it true? Have you guys used it? Have you, and how long can you keep it for? So leave a comment down below and let me know that. And also leave a comment down below if 
you've recently cleaned your freezer out and if you plan on cleaning it out before the holidays as well but that's it guys thanks so much for watching hit that button my picture up above to subscribe to my channel and you can check out my previous video over here and you can also check me out on all my social media platforms all listed down below thanks so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next video bye